Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, real quick, while I got your attention, like, subscribe. If you like what we're doing, smash that subscribe button for us. So, it's the end of the day here. And then I want to make a quick video before that sun goes down. And um, after the last video we put out was the big three install on Piglet here, who's looking really dirty like a Piglet should. So we got a bunch of comments, bunch of questions. I know I'm being jerky right now, but I just want to dig into this video. But a bunch of comments, bunch of questions uh, about the big three and the install. Now you're you're getting a preview here. Um, Alt install is coming up, dual battery install coming up, and uh, a company wiring for all of those. So those videos are coming soon, but you're getting a quick preview of kind of the finished look obviously engine bay is real dirty that's why it's piglet first biggest question comment everything and i'm giving y'all a, a view in here was um what did i do about the factory gm rvc uh regulated voltage control and easy answer i didn't do anything i didn't have to do anything Everyone was talking about the uh, the clamp sensor that clamps um, the power usage and the voltage, all that stuff. Yeah, this is a 2500, 2500 HD. And apparently they did not get that the way the half ton trucks, the 1500s got it. So I'll give you all a look in here. Um, a lot of your older models that have the factory battery up here. This one did not, the factory battery was the one back there. You'll see a clamp sensor down in this area. I didn't have a battery up here, no ground wires up here, no clamp sensor. I mean, honest, I don't even know where the clamp sensor is for the ones back here. But yeah, no factory clamp sensor on this one. Nothing to modify, nothing to change, nothing to do anything with. All I had to do was basically beef up the factory grounds. So um, we had the factory ground here that I showed y'all. That one's beefed up. And again, you're getting a little preview of what I did uh, where um, the ground that used to go here the alt bracket is now moved to the ground lug on the alternator. I will highlight that in the alternator install video. The ground, I still have the factory grounds are all connected. I added a ground here that just goes right down there to the front of that head. I'm hoping y'all can see it, but that's it. So in short, quick video. What did I do about the factory GM RVC? Nothing, I didn't have to. Uh, just to be sure about that now, I did contact Matt over at Mechman. I hit him up. He responded very promptly and let me know, yes, the three quarter ton and one ton trucks, they didn't get the stuff the same way the half ton trucks, the 1500s did. Nothing for me to worry about. Even better news because that means I should not get the uh, voltage current fluctuations and spikes. I shouldn't get as much uh, controlling from the computer as those guys. I should hold voltage a lot better. Yay, fingers crossed that works. But I know what they recommend, and you can find this. Uh, there was a diagram on McMahon. I think it was on his site. I, I, I found the diagram. People were linking me to videos of things. I had the diagram and even posted it on my Facebook. Uh, if I haven't posted it on the Instagram, I'll go and make sure it is. So check it out on the Sundown Audio unofficial Instagram. But there's a diagram showing when you add um, a ground for a big three or something. Basically, when you add a ground, just make sure that one out ground that you add coming from the battery to auto or whatever make sure and run it through that clamp run it through the clamp so it can sense and it can know what you're doing and that way you won't have any freaking out or voltage spikes and fluctuations and where basically stuff goes crazy um, and that's it so short video just updating y'all what i did how i handled it preview of the dual 3400 install that is in here the alternator install it's all in it's all working great Sorry, half ton guys, about your luck. Get a get a bigger truck. But um, that's it. If you like what we're doing on the channel, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you check out all the videos. More Piglet videos coming out. Cool stuff happening. Later, guys.